एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम टूडे विल बी लर्निंग द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ कॉनिक सेक्शन इन द लेक्चर टू Hello everyone I am Anmol Bhatia I am an assistant professor in the department of mechanical engineering if you want to learn the concepts more in detail you can uh, download the book uh, by S Chan Publishing which is there in the description box so what is the concept we'll learn the concept with the help of this question similar question is there as in the case of the previous one what is this this is having the distance of the point from the vertical line as 50 so what we'll do we'll sketch a directrix and we'll have a point a b and the central point is c we'll have the distance uh, till the focus as 50 so we'll have the distance as 50 units now what happens it is mentioned that draw the locus of the point moving in such that moving in such a way that it always remains equidistant from the point f so i told you that the eccentricity part is vf over vc so the distance of this point from the fixed point to the distance of this point from the fixed line that is called as eccentricity and if these values are equal or it is equal to 1 then it itself indicates that it is a parabola so how to make this parabola the concept is similar to the ellipse case so what happens here you have these values as 50 so as i have told you that these two are equivalent so we'll have the central point as v which is having the equal distance or equal distance from this v point and equal distance from the c point now what to do next in order to make the parabola case so for this you have to open the compass till the five units so open the compass till 5 mm and draw lines let's say 5 1 2 3 4 5 and, and name them as 1 2 3 4 and 5 in the similar manner towards the right side of v make similar divisions 1 2 3 4 and 5 and in order to just name differently i have used a b c d and e as shown in the diagram there so what we need to do we need to open the compass from f till this a this is the distance and we need to cut the arc so if this is the first point we need to cut that distance on the first line which is related to 1 similarly we need to open the compass from f to b and cut an arc similarly from f to c and cut an arc right so in the similar manner above and in the similar fashion below so below also take the same distance and cut an arc on 1 same distance on b cut an arc on 2 on 3 and 4 and 5 and then using or with v with free hand join these together so that a parabola is created the concept is similar as we have learned in case of ellipse now coming to the next case which is of hyperbola for hyperbola i have told you that the eccentricity is always greater than 1 so eccentricity is 3 by 2 so you have the value of this eccentricity or the formula of this eccentricity is vf over vc which is 3 by 2 that means if i divide v from f and v from c i'll get the reverse division that we have seen in case of uh, the previous or the previous situation in the first part of this lecture series so how to draw this hyperbola let me just elaborate similar manner we'll have a directrix equation which is ab i'll divide this there is v that indicates that these three parts are there and two parts are on the other side so what to do or how do we divide it we divide it in the similar manner that is in the case of uh, the ellipse situation uh, this ratio 3 by 2 would be similar for other ratios as well like 45 by 30 or 60 by 40 or 75 by 50 so we'll take the denominator 
and try to draw the line. So denominator is 30. So what we'll do? 1, 2 and 3. From 30 we'll draw a line. Okay. So this is 30. From 30 we have drawn a line. And we'll try to cut an arc from this 30. And this arc would be this arc and this arc. And this value of the arc would be 45. From the focus point. So from focus point we need to try to cut the arcs at this these two lengths and the next one would be 40 so 40 is this line cut an arc of 60 from f point so from f cut an arc here and here then you have 50 so draw a line at a distance of 50 and cut an arc of 75 so here keep the compass here and cut an arc till these two points so we'll get the points like you'll get the points p1 p2 p3 here also you will get the points P1, P2 and P3. Join them with the free hand keeping V also in place and then you will end up by forming the hyperbola case. So this uh, would be the situation in which we have talked about the concepts uh, which were related to conical sections or sections of the so cones. So here we have learned about hyperbola, parabola and ellipse and how to make those hyperbola, parabola and ellipse with the help of the general method. Coming to the next uh, part of this module that contains cycloid and involute. So cycloid, the definition, the bookish definition says that it is the locus of the point on the periphery of the circle. So there is a point on the periphery of the circle and if the circle rolls on the straight path. So if I have a circle and I, if I roll the circle on a straight path, I will get a cycloid formation. There are two types of cycloids. One is epicycloid, another is hypocycloid. Epicycloid is when the circle is rolling on another circle from outside. So if you have a circle and there is another circle and it, if it is rolling from outside, it is called as epicycloid. But if it is rolling from inside the circle, it is called as hypocycloid. The next set you have involute. Involute is the locus of all the points on the string which is wound around a circular pole. So I will let you know what is it. But for the sake of this definitions, the definitions uh, itself says that they are the locus of all the points. Uh, which is related to some circle there. So let us look at uh, the numericals or let us look at the questions which are related to cycloid. One is one thing is how to draw the cycloid uh, which is there on the periphery of the circle and it rolls on the straight path. So here let us for an example consider the case which is this case having the circle as a diameter 50. So what we will do we will make the circle initially of the diameter 50. So here what we will do, we will make a circle of let us say the diameter 50. Now I have told you that it rolls around the periphery of the circle. So circle has a diameter d. So its periphery or its circumference would be pi d. So its circumference would be pi d. So what I will do, I will draw a tangent around this. From the center I will have the length which is pi d value. So the length of this is having value of pi d. So we'll multiply d with pi, pi value is 3.14, you'll get the value. So this is the situation in which you will have the length of the circle. Now what I need to draw, I need to draw or I need to make this circle fall around the length of the line, around this line or around this length. So for that, what I need to make, I need to follow a procedure in order to draw the cycloid case. Now what is that procedure? Initially what I will do, I will divide the circle into 8 equal parts. Right? So if the circle is moving like this, I can divide the circle into 8 equal parts. So you can see that there are 8 equal parts, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and this point is named as P. So all these parts are 8 equal parts division. Now this length of the line would also be divided into 8 equal parts. So you can do what? You can take the radius of this part which is Cp. Consider the radius and at the similar radius you need to divide the, the periphery into 8 equal values. So if it is value is 80, so 
you divide them into eight equal parts so here also what we have done we have divided them into eight equal parts like c1 is the first division c2 is the second division third fourth fifth till eight so till eight divisions we have divided them one two three four five six seven and eight so till eight divisions we have divided it what to do next you need to uh, extend this line and you need to extend this line that means you will create the two locus from the points so 3 and 5 will have a single locus 4 will have a single locus 2 will have single locus 1 will have a single locus so all these will have the single locus value now what to do you can open the compass from here till this p point so from c to p you need to open the compass and keep the compass on this first arc keep the pointed end on this first arc your compass is open to the radius of the circle consider the distance of the radius and mark the arc on the first line so the first line arc would be this from c1 to p1 you have the first arc which is this p1 value from c2 you have the second line and cut an arc here from C3, you have the third arc, which is this one and cut here. From C4, you have the fourth value, you need to cut here. C5, you have the fifth line, you need to cut here. So C5 to P5 is the distance. And then C6 to sixth value, sixth value is here only. So sixth value is P6 on the same line. I say C8 would be on this P8. 8th valla point. Join all these points with free hand, you will get the cycloid done. And now the next case uh, is epicycloid. Epicycloid, I have told you uh, in the definition that it is the locus of all the points on the circle which lies on another circle. So here, let us for an example consider a circle. So here we have a circle uh, which is having a fixed diameter which is called as a rolling circle. And you have another circle which is having the dia as radius as 75 mm. So here what we'll do, we'll draw this circle initially, which is called as the directing circle. So we have the radius mentioned here. So radius is 75. So we'll draw, we'll consider a center and we'll draw the radius as 75. So 75 would be the radius. And here we'll be using this formula R by R into 360. By considering it, we'll calculate the angle. So the angle is calculated here, which is the theta angle. Above that, there would be another circle having the similar center. I'll draw a circle which is called as a rolling circle. So rolling circle is there having the center C. So this circle will would roll on the surface. So here also what we'll do, we'll divide the circle into eight equal parts. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So I'll name it as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and this one is P or 8 you can mention. Now what happens? Um, we need to draw the similar arc on these values like 1 to 7 you will have an arc. From 2 to 6 you will have another arc. From 3 to 5, you'll have another arc and from 4, you'll have this arc. So, all these arcs would be made there. Now, what to do next? You need to divide this angle into 8 equal parts again. So, these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So, likewise, it is divided on the, uh, described on the video. It is there. Now, uh, how do these points came? These points came by dividing this angle into eight equal sections so what we can do we can extend these and make the points labeled as c1 c2 c3 c4 and so on just for the sake of understanding i'll describe it here so you got a circle which is divided into eight equal parts and you got a directing circle which is also divided into eight equal parts and this is extended these parts are extended so that these components can be formed now you have to take the radius in the similar manner 
take the radius from C to P, open the compass and from C1 uh, draw an arc till one point. From C2 draw an arc till two point, right? And from C3 draw an arc till the third point. This is the three number, so this arc would be for the third number. For C4 you have the arc for the fourth number, this one, and similar for other things. You can join them, you will get the epicycloid there. So, this is the concept of epicycloid. The next concept would be the case of involute. Involute of the circle would have the similar concept. Let us have a look at the case. Uh, I have told you that involute is the situation in which you have a string and you pass that string to the equal circumference of the circle. So, you have a circle there you have a circle and from that circle you need to draw a tangent which is equal to the length of the circumference. So, there is a circumference and you have draw the tangent. Similar manner you need to divide the circle into 8 equal parts. So, this circle is divided into 8 equal parts and so as the length is divided into 8 equal parts. So, length also 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on till 8, eight equal parts you have divided. Now, for involute what we need to do. So, you got the tangents. So, one tangent, the second tangent, the third, the fourth, the fifth, sixth, seventh tangent is there. Now, what we need to do, you have this point 1 and you have this distance p. So, from 1 to p, open the compass and place the compass end here and the arc pencil end here and draw an arc. So, an arc is drawn, you will get the point p1. From the point 2 till p, you will get a distance. Here also the point is P and you will have a tangent on the tangent cut an arc that is called as P2. Similar manner you will get all the distances joined together so that an involute is formed. Now what happens next? Involute has some cases in which the length is more than the uh, circumference and the length is less than the circumference. Irrespective of the fact that the length is less or the length is more, the procedure remains the same. Like you have the distance pi d and you have this value of the length as more than the circumference. So, here also if this value is 165, we divide it into 8 equal parts. You have the point P which is formed by uh, equally dividing these values of 165 into 8 equal parts. Just measure the parts, place them on tangent and draw the involute. Similarly, for the less section, the case would be similar but the length would be lesser. This is pi d value and the length given is lesser than pi d. So, irrespective of the fact you have lesser value or more value, you have to divide it into 8 equal parts and cut the values on the sections. Similarly, the involute can be formed. So, we come to the end of this lecture. So, in uh, today's uh, lecture, we have discussed about the different sections of the cone. Uh, namely parabola, hyperbola and ellipse and other concepts of uh, the similar topic like involute and other things. If you want to learn the concepts more in detail, you can uh, download the book uh, by S. Chan Publishing which is there in the description box. If you find the video interesting, you can like, share, subscribe to the channel and also uh, hit the bell button for more updates. Thank you. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.